Hey guys, it's William here. Damn, you know, I love my glasses, but also I hate them. Uh, I wish I could see perfectly, but I'm literally blind right now. I can't even see myself in the viewfinder. Uh, but also, glasses get so dirty so easily, I don't even do anything and they get dirty. It's like, what's wrong with your glasses? You're not here to hear me rant about glasses. You're here for the MRI update. I'm trying so hard to not say, are you really excited? Because I'm trying not to make wheel jokes, but let's get wheel. I'm so sorry. Hey, for that bad joke, I'll let you know the good news. I'm cancer free again. It's, it, this has been, I believe, the longest cancer free I've been since getting diagnosed in the first place. And ever since the beginning of this year, I've had negative scans and my last scan from last week was also all clear. So I am so happy. If you can hear the air conditioning of the car, I apologize. It is 100 degrees in Texas. It's been 105 almost every day this week. So yeah, all clear. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing the every three months MRI scan until a year has been up and then we'll maybe expand that out more and more. I'm tired and it's hot outside, so thank you Red Bull. Um, <laughs> I think I have the coronavirus again. I've literally been to Disney and two concerts, and uh, it was from none of those places that I got the Rona. I got it from my grandpa, who uh, he volunteers a lot at, at his church. He went to some event where he gave a bunch of free hot dogs to people, I think is what it was. He got the Rona there. I went to visit my grandparents on the weekend, and guess I got it from him, because the next day, I, that night, he tested himself and had positive. I've tested myself three times at this point. All three have shown negative but I've had a sore throat for the past two days. So maybe because I had the corona so recently and I'm vaccinated, maybe that's why it's showing negative, but I still have a sore throat. Like maybe I have minimal side effects because my body's fighting it off so well. I really don't understand any of this corona stuff, so I'm just talking about it in my butt. I'm glad the cancer's gone still. That's amazing. I'm so happy about that. I, the, I saw two of my favorite of all time bands this year for the first time. I saw Fleet Foxes live in Dallas, and I saw Lake Street Dive live at Red Rocks. Both were incredible shows. I don't know if I can explain this, but I'm the type of personality, the type of person that both of those bands I've listened to for 10 years almost, almost 10 years, both of them. And the feeling of listening to album after album of a group, and then after 10 years, seeing them live, playing live all those songs and albums that you listen to, it's just a completely different experience. Now, I love the albums. I, I don't think the concerts are better than the albums. I just think it's like, it's such a weird, awesome feeling. I'm just like, oh my gosh, that's the song. I, I'm so happy that's playing. Man, Fleet Foxes, uh, definitely. Like, I love Lake Street Dive. They're amazing. Um, but Fleet Foxes, I've listened to them longer. I love them so much. Their first two albums are incredible. Self-titled and uh, Helplessness, Helplessness Blues. I recommend both of those. That was such an incredible show. Robin Peckinold, the uh, singer for Fleet Foxes, came out before the show even started, before the opening act, and introduced the opening act, and that's the first time I've ever seen that at a show, and it was just the coolest thing, and I feel like it made so many more people interested in the opener, because uh, usually with openers, you either, it's like, I don't know, I've been to concerts where no one cares at all that someone's up there playing, and I've been to ones where people are somewhat interested. This definitely helped invigorate people to be a lot more interested in the opening act. And he was a really cool guy. He's from Sao Paulo, Brazil. He uh, sang in Portuguese the whole time. Uh, it was really beautiful stuff. He played as the guitar. It reminded me of some Bossa Nova things. It just meant the world to me to finally see them. I was smiling so much during that concert. And during the encore, I believe it was, he played Helplessness Blues, which is my favorite song of theirs. I think that's my favorite besides A Silver Dagger. And I just, I smiled so much. I was like, oh my God, I've fallen asleep so many times at night listening to Fleet Foxes. I've been playing Monopoly with my uh, grandma so many times listening to Fleet Foxes. Like, there's so many things in my life I've listened to with Fleet Foxes, and now I finally get to hear it live, interpreted this way, and it was just beautiful. It was great. Um, better than I could ever imagine. I've seen a lot of concerts this year. This is the three concerts I've seen. Jeff Tweedy, uh, which is singer of Wilco, who I also love. So I've seen some great music this year. Hopefully it doesn't stop. Hopefully I can see some more greats. I really want to see Beck. Beck is, uh, if, if there's only one more concert I ever get to see, I want it to be Beck because I love Beck so much. I love Modern Guilt so much. It is in my top five, if not top one album of all time. It is incredible and I cannot wait to see him perform. 
Beck. If you're watching this, which I doubt it, but if you are, hey man, I'd love to see your show. You're fucking amazing. I'm sorry for swearing, so but I'm just so happy about that uh, Beck show that I have not even uh, seen if it's available to see that I'm just excited about the hypothetical Beck show. <laughs> I think I want to do another music video. It's been a while. I think I want to do a video where I talk about my favorite albums of all time. I think I'm going to do that. You tell me guys if you're interested in that, I'd love to put that up. I've noticed that when it comes to music, and I can't remember, I don't know if I've talked about this yet, but my Myers-Briggs thing is INFP. I just, with music, if it's depressing and authentic feeling, I just love it. And so I have found so many new depressing albums this year and beautiful works of art with music this year. And uh, they've moved me so much. So I would love to make a video talking about the albums that I love. I'm gonna try to plan some fun stuff for myself to do this year. Some vacations, you know, some trips. I'll bring you guys along for all of that, obviously. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I wanna get back to my Red Bull. It's getting warm because uh, the heat is murder. 